Good morning, welcome to Mondays with Marty. Can you see where I am? I'm at the gym. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it from a different place than I usually do. So there's three things I want to talk to you about today. The first thing is growing. The second one is side effects. And the third one is getting to know you. Now, the first thing is growing. So this weekend I did um, the Gesene Kaatse show. It's a Christmas show with a band and I was my own musical director. And I'm so proud. It was wonderful. It was amazing. I loved working with other people. It was a big challenge. I learned a lot. Um, and I think it's, it's important to grow. If I think of a tree, let's say you want to trim it in a round shape that it looks like a lollipop tree. The tree must grow and then you can trim it in the shape that you want it. But you, the, the, the tree won't grow in the shape that you want it before um, you trim it. And, and, you know, it's, you have to grow first to know where you want to trim it to see where you want something and where you don't want something. So growing is important. So what I discovered about myself is I love musical directing but I don't like working with big groups. I like working with smaller groups. So that's the one thing I learned. And I also learned that um, people need to repeat it a couple of times before they're confident. People, be, people come late, people are early, people leave early, people stay late, people change their minds. <laughs> it's like, you must just know, when you make ends meet, meet somebody's gonna move it. So that's the most important thing that you have to know about people is that you always have to expect change. And that's part of growing and to know what you are able to deal with and what you're not able to deal with. So, so that's the growing bit. The second one is the side effects. So I'm very proud to say that I, um, I had Wendy on stage with me again and she's um, gained confidence. She's learned a lot a bit about being independent. It's, it's still a, a, a learning curve. But um, yes, she's been on stage with me a couple of times this year and I'm hoping that next year she'll do it on her own. I had a new student that did amazing four lessons and she was on stage standing her ground doing it. So th that was amazing to see that transformation from before and after. I had a, another um, girl that sang with me and um, she did it amazing. It was just a couple of pointers of showing in the right direction and she already has another booking for a gig. So this is the side effects of bringing people into what you do is it has a ripple effect and um, I always say what's, what goes on behind your back is sometimes more important than what you know what's going on. So you can see people have, con have conversations, they bond and they create new um, ventures that you don't even know about, but you are part of it because you uh, bring people together that can have conversations to carry on. So that's the side effect. My effect was this show, but the side effect is people coming together and creating new uh, pathways of where they want to go. And then the third thing is um, getting to know you. Now I had such an interesting experience. I was posting my um, my one song in a baby oh no a, a, a christmas in saskatchewan and one of my friends in canada committed but haven't i written any songs about maple ridge but next time it must be about maple ridge and this is in canada and i thought well i actually did a whole cd on maple ridge but he's always seen me as a face that comes into his shop that buys um, pharmacy type of products so for him it was like oh Matty's a singer and she actually sang about Maple Ridge. So this is a new thing to him. We, um, uh, another artist would say, well, why do you talk so much in between the song? You just stop talking so much. And, and it's like, well, you don't understand it. I am actually a talker that sings in between or a singer that talks in between, something like that. And uh, I, 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 I know, sometimes maybe I'm a bit of a, um, I won't say I'm a stand-up comedian, but I do have things to say. <laughs> And if you get me in one context, you will think I'm just a singer. But um, I do more than just that. Or I'll meet another guy that said, I thought you were just a singer. And then I end up now, I'm actually a foot care nurse that specializes in diabetes. Like, 
oh <laughs> so it's interesting if you meet people and they don't get what you're about and, and to reveal that and to for them to start seeing you in that way open up the Yuari window that's what I am actually talking about so that is interesting because one person will see you in this mold and the next one will see you in that mold and they won't trust you to be the other thing that you talk about until they actually experience it and and that's a challenge and I think it's true for other people as well when I meet somebody I think oh you're a brilliant artist but then I discover oh you actually do you actually do accounting and you actually do this or whatever your talents are so it's it's you have to appreciate it when people show you who they really are because then you understand them better and sometimes you have to dig a bit to find that um, yeah so for me I am very excited um, the three things grow and the side effects and getting to know you is very important for me now because I'm evolving back to where I want to be in terms of my passions and what I'm going to trim and keep and I'm very excited because I am going to be spending the rest of the um, next two years mostly in my studio creating music and getting I'm good at music production which is something I really really love but I haven't been doing it because I've been um, saving, the saving the world but yes so um, it's gonna be a challenge to tell people well this is what I'm doing now I've been doing lots of other stuff but you know I'm good at it and somebody has to do it but in the process of uh, lighting other people's fires I, uh, I I got what I wanted of people starting to live their passion and seeing that it really works so that I can go back to what I really love so my next show I'll see you at um, Drinkeletti in Canada and I am going to be releasing my Gesene Kersje's new remastered CD soon I'm going to be releasing um, After Dinner Mint at flute soon I'm busy finishing 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 women on fire so that will hopefully finish be finished this year and um, yeah so five shows three albums um, one trip to Nashville it's been a busy year so enjoy your rest of the week and I'll see you Monday